a prehistoric crew. Been a while since I put any videos up. Wanted to take a break from doing that after my long, hectic summer schedule away from home. I've been doing some napping, just not on camera. Been doing a lot of small bifacing, working on my technique, changing things up a little bit. Got a bunch of bifaces here. This is a, oops, almost completed big lanceolate point. I can turn that into a couple different things. I was just trying to work on my thinning methods. You know, my edge preparation, efficiency, uh, turning edges and so on. I've been doing a lot of, yeah, so I've been napping for about 10 years now. And I've been doing a lot of thinking about how I nap and why I nap the way I do. And while I figured the time is now to try and you know, improve a couple things, make some small changes, and try and make my my process more efficient. Hopefully get things thinner than I have been able to do previously using stone and antler tools. So, I've been doing a lot of um, small vertical punch work. Um, you know, holding it like this, and then smacking it with my other antler. Pretty much all these were worked on in that way. This is just, just a small one. I couldn't get through the cortex with hammerstone, but the rest of these, more or less, I you know, wasn't perfect, that's for sure. Still learning, but yeah, I should have said earlier, to sum up, I've been taking, you know, the tips from flint napping tips. I figured he's probably the best napper that I know of, who I've seen nap on YouTube anyways. Um, you know, he's the best at natural tool work. He uses a lot of really interesting things like buffalo horn and wood and all sorts of different materials. I hope I can get into that kind of stuff one day, but Anyways, I'll show my my new style on camera soon enough um, for bifacing and doing the final, you know, the late stage thinning and shaping work. But for now, I have a job to do. I need to make a large hand axe out of this big piece of Georgetown chert. Here's the other hand axe I managed to get earlier, a month or two ago. I want to try and get a bigger one, and maybe get it a little bit thinner. Maybe I'll keep it thick at the base, thin, I'm not sure exactly. We'll see what I can do with this thing. I'm going to zigzag around the edges can see it's rounded cortical edges all around. The only spot you can see inside is here and it's pretty close to the cortex still here, but it looks like good quality, the good, you know, nice Georgetown shirt. Well, starting here, I'll zigzag all the way around, get some big thinning flakes off after, shape it up a little bit and call that a large Achillean hand axe. One of the things I've been doing differently is using the the broad face of the hammerstone to take flakes off. Flint napping tips 
he does a lot of that, I noticed. I haven't used this large hammer to do that yet. Gonna turn the fan on. Not a bad start. Cortex is pretty thick here, almost a centimeter, probably eight millimeters, nine, but it's really thin right here. You can see the difference. trying not to work on my edges too much. I normally overwork them. I'm trying to calm down with that a little bit. I'm just saving some of the, the larger flakes send to the customer as part of the assemblage.
need to do something here. bit accidental but that's okay Nice. We got a food delivery on the way. I kind of picked a weird time to start this. I just felt the 
felt the motivation all of a sudden. It's going not terribly, I guess. Still got to do something here. these flicks I don't want to go too far in yet I'm just trying to set up this sinuous edge so that I can probably use antler maybe to take off large flakes from each side have these kind of platforms set up I did this side a little bit better than this side Interesting shaped flake. Nice tool blank. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I waited a long time to even get started on this. I think it, this first stage went pretty well, I'm happy with it. It's hard to switch around from you know, between different techniques, using different hammer stones and antlers and different bits and pieces. But I've been practicing jumping around, doing different things and kind of training my muscle memory to remember things better. It's been a while since I took some large flakes, but like I said earlier, I just felt, felt you know, in the moment, felt like I could do it. I could put 15 minutes into doing something like this. That's it for now. On to the next stage. Probably using the big antler to take off some nice thinning flakes. Get this hand axe nice and regular shaped well.